स्टूडेंट्स आज हम क्लास इलेवन बायोलॉजी एन की बुक से चैप्टर फोर एनिमल किंगडम का रीडिंग करेंगे ये एक ऑडियो बुक है रिवीजन पर्पज के लिए अगर आपको बुक्स बाय करनी है तो लिंक मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे रखे हैं वेन यू लुक अराउंड यू विल ऑब्जर्व डिफरेंट एनिमल्स विद डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड फोन्स एज ओवर मिलियन स्पीसीस ऑफ एनिमल्स है the need for classification becomes all the more important the classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species 4.1 basis of classification in spite of differences in structure and form of different animals there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells body symmetry nature of coelom patterns of digestive circulatory or reproductive systems these features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here 4.1.1 levels of organization though all members of animalia are multicellular all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells for example in sponges the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates that is they exhibit cellular level of organization some division of labor in bracket activities occur among the cells in cellular traits the arrangement of cells is more complex here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues hence is called tissue level of organization a still higher level of organization that is organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and the other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for a particular function in animals like annelids arthropods molluscs echinoderms and chordates organs have associated to form functional systems each system concerned with a specific physiological function this pattern is called organ system level of organization organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities For example the digestive system in platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus and hence called incomplete a complete digestive system has two openings mouth and anus similarly the circulatory system may be of two types one open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it and second closed type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameter in bracket arteries veins and capillaries 4.1.2 symmetry animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry sponges are mostly asymmetrical that is any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves when any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves it is called radial symmetry cilentrates ctenophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan in bracket figure 4.1a animals like annelids arthropods etc where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry in bracket figure 4.1b 4.1.3 diploblastic and triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals for example coelenterids an undifferentiated layer mesoglea is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm in bracket figure 4.2a those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer mesoderm in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals in bracket platyhelminthes to chordates figure 4.2b 4.1.4 coelom presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom animals possessing coelom are called coelomates for example annelids molluscs arthropods echinoderms hemichordates and chordates in bracket figure 4.3a 
In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm. Instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocelum and the animals possessing them are called pseudocelomates. For example, Esk halbenthis in bracket figure 4.3b. The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomates. For example, platy halminthes in bracket figure 4.3c. 4.1.5 Segmentation In some animals, the body is extreme, externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. For example, in earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomenon is known as metamerism. 4.1.6 Notochord Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called codates and those animals which do not form this structure are called non-codates. For example, Porifera to Echinoderms. 4.2 Classification of Animals The broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features as mentioned in the preceding sections is given in figure 4.4. The important characteristic features of the different phyla are described. 4.2.1 Phylum Porifera Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals. In bracket figure 4.5. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores in bracket ostia in the body wall into a central cavity, spongocele, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Coenocytes or polar cells line the spongocele and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongine fibers. Sexes are not separate in bracket hermaphrodite. That is, eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect, having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Examples Sycon in bracket Sifa, comma, Spongira in bracket Freshwater Sponge, and Du Spongia in bracket Bath Sponge. 4.2.2 Phylum Cylinterita in bracket Nidaria. They are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free living, sorry, free swimming, radially symmetrical animals. In bracket figure 4.6. The name Nidaria is derived from the nidoblast or nidocytes. In bracket which contain the stinging capsules or nematocyst present in the tentacles and the body. Present on the tentacles and the body. Nidoblasts are used for anchorage, defense and for the capture of prey. In bracket figure 4.7. Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the nidarians, for example, corals have a skeleton composed of Calcium carbonate. Nidarians exhibit two basic body forms called, called polyp and medusa. In bracket figure 4.6. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, adamsia, etc. Whereas the latter is umbrella shaped and free swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those nidarians which exist in both forms exhibit alteration of generation. In bracket metagenesis. That is, polyps produce medusae asexually and medusae from the polyps sexually. In bracket, for example, obelia. Example, Physalia in bracket Portuguese man of war, comma, Adamsia in bracket sea anemone, comma, Penintula in bracket sea pen, 
gorgonia in bracket sea fan and mandrina in bracket brain coral 4.2.3 phylum tenophora tenophores commonly known as sea walnuts or foam jellies are exclusively marine radially symmetrical diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization the body wears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion in bracket figure 4.8 digestion is both extracellular and intracellular bioluminescence in bracket the property of a living organism to emit light is well marked in tenophores sexes are not separate reproduction takes place only by sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development examples pleuro brachia and tenoplana 4.2.4 phylum platyhelminthes they have dorso ventrally flattened body hence are called flat forms in bracket figure 4.9 these are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings flat forms are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and acylimate animals with organ level of organization hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms some of them absorb nutrient from the host directly through their body surface specialized cells called phlegm cells help in osmoregulation and excretion sexes are not separate fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages some members like planaria possesses high regeneration capacity examples tenia in bracket test form comma fasciola in bracket liver fluke 4.2.5 phylum eschelminthes the body of the eschelminthes is circular in cross section hence the name round worms in bracket figure 4.10 they may be free living aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals round worms have organ system level of body organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and pseudocoelomate animals eliminatory canal is complete with a well developed muscular pharynx an excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pore sexes are separate in bracket diaceous that is males and females are distinct often females are longer than males fertilization is internal and development may be direct in bracket the young ones resemble the adult or indirect examples Ascaris in bracket round worm, Buscheria in bracket Filaria worm, and Cyclostoma in bracket hook worm. 4.2.6 Phylum Annelida. They may be aquatic in bracket marine and fresh water or terrestrial, free living and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented, and coelomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers, and hence the phylum name Annelida. In bracket, Latin Annelus means little ring. In bracket, figure four point eleven. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles, which help in locomotion. Aquatic annelids like nereids possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, in bracket singular nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia, in bracket singular ganglion, connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve pole. Nereids, an aquatic form, is diaceous. but earthworms and lichens are monoecious reproduction is sexual examples nereids comma ferretima in bracket earthworm and hirudinaria in bracket blood sucking leech 4.2.7 phylum arthropoda this is the largest phylum of animalia which includes insects over 2/3 of all named species on the earth are arthropods in bracket figure 4.12 they have organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic segmented and coelomate animals the body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton 
the body consists of head thorax and abdomen they have jointed appendages in bracket arthros means joint coda means appendages respiratory organs are gills book gills book lungs or tracheal system circulatory system is of open type sensory organs like antenna eyes in bracket compound and simple stethoscope or balancing organs are present excretion takes place through malpighian tubules they are mostly diaceous fertilization is usually internal they are mostly oviparous development may be direct or indirect examples economically important insects apis in bracket honey bee comma bombyx in bracket silk worm comma lacifer in bracket lake insect vectors anopheles comma culex and aedes in bracket mosquitoes gregarious pest locusta in bracket locust living fossil limulus in bracket king crab 4.2.8 phylum mollusca this is the second largest animal phylum in bracket figure 4.30 mollusca are terrestrial or aquatic in bracket marine or freshwater having an organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and sea limit animals body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular suit and visceral hump a soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump the space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather like gills are present they have respiratory and excretory functions the anterior head region has sensory tentacles the mouth contains a file like rasping organ for feeding called radula they are usually diaceous and oviparous with indirect development examples phyla in bracket apple snail comma pinctada in bracket pearl oyster comma sepia in bracket cuttlefish comma loligo in bracket squid comma octopus in bracket devil fish comma eplisia in bracket sea hare dentalium in bracket tusk shell and chetoplura in bracket chitin 4.2.9 phylum echinodermata this animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name echinodermata in bracket spiny body figure 4.14 all are marine with organ system level of organization the adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larva are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic and sea limit animals digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower in bracket ventral side and the anus on the upper in bracket dorsal side the most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion capture and transport of food and respiration an excretory system is absent sexes are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva examples asterias in bracket starfish echinus in bracket sea urchin antedon in bracket sea lily cucumeria in bracket sea cucumber and ophiuria ophiura in bracket brittle star 4.2.10 phylum hemichordata hemichordata was earlier considered as sub phylum under phylum chordata but now it is placed as a separate phylum under known chordata Hemichordates have a rudimentary structure in the collar region called stomochord a structure similar to notochord this phylum consists of a small group of worm like marine animals with organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and sea limit animals the body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis a collar and a long trunk in bracket figure 4.15 circulatory system is of open type respiration takes place through gills excretory organ is proboscis gland sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect examples balanoglossus and secoglossus
4.2.11 phylum chordata animals belonging to phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits in bracket figure 4.16 these are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate with organ system level of organization they possess a post anal tail and a closed circulatory system table 4.1 presents a comparison of salient features of chordates and non chordates table 4.1 comparison of chordates and non chordates chordates notochord present non chordates notochord absent here central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single and in noto non chordate central nervous system is ventral solid and double in chordates pharynx perforated by gill slit gill slits in non chordates gill slits are absent In chordates, heart is ventral, and here heart is dorsal if present. A post-anal part that is tail is present. Post-anal tail is absent. Phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla: urochordata or tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Subphyla urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates in bracket figure four point seventeen and are exclusively marine. In urochordata, notochord is present only in larval tail, while in cephalochordata, it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Examples: urochordata, acidia, comma salpa, dolilum. In cephalochordata, branchiostoma in bracket, amphioxus or lancelet. The members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation and fed appendages which may be fins or limbs. The subphylum vertebrata is further divided as follows: 4.2.11.1 class Cyclostomata. All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. In bracket figure 4.18. their body is devoid of scales and paired fins cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous circulation is of close type cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water after spawning within a few days they die their larva after metamorphosis return to the ocean examples petromyzoon in bracket lamprey and mixin in bracket hagfish 4.2.11.2 class chondrichthys they are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton in bracket figure 4.19 mouth is located ventrally notochord is persistent throughout life gill slits are separate and without operculum in bracket gill cover the skin is tough containing minute placoid scales They have modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two chambered, one auricular and one ventricular. Some of them have electric organs, for example, torpedo, and some possess poison sting, for example, trigone. They are cold-blooded, that is. Poikilothermous animals, that is, they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization, and many of them are viviparous. Examples: Scoliodon in bracket dogfish, Prestes in bracket showfish, Carcharodon in bracket great white shark, and Trigon in bracket stingray. 4.2.11.3 class ostichthys it includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton 
their body is streamlined mouth is mostly terminal in bracket figure 4.20 they have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side skin is covered with cycloid slash ctenoid scale air bladder is present with regulates biopsy heart is two chambered one auricular and one ventricular they are cold blooded animals sexes are separate fertilization is usually external they are mostly oviparous and development is direct examples marine exocetus in bracket flying fish hippocampus in bracket sea horse fresh water labio in bracket rohu cutla in bracket cutla clarius in bracket magur aquarium in bracket beta fighting fish and pterophyllum in bracket angel fish 4.2.11.4 class amphibia as the name indicates amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats most of them have two pairs of limbs body is divisible into head and trunk tail may be present in some the amphibian skin is moist that is without scales the eyes have eyelids a tympanum represents the ear eliminatory canal urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior respiration is by gills lungs and through skin the heart is three chambered two auricles and one ventricle these are cold blooded animals sexes are separate fertilization is external they are oviparous and development is indirect examples bufo in bracket toad rana in bracket frog hyla in bracket tree frog salamandra in bracket salamander ichthyo fish in bracket limbless amphibia 4.2.11.5 class reptilia the class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion in bracket latin repere or raptum to creep or crawl they are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin epidermal scales or scutus in bracket figure 4.22 they do not have external ear opening tympanum represents ear limbs when present are two pairs heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodiles reptiles are poikilotherms snakes and lizards shade their scales as skin cast sexes are separate fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct examples kelon in bracket turtle testudo in bracket tortoise chameleon in bracket tree lizard calotes in bracket garden lizard crocodilus in bracket crocodile alligator in bracket alligator hemidectylis in bracket wall lizard poisonous snakes nasa in bracket cobra bangaras in bracket crate vipera in bracket viper 4.2.11.6 class aves the characteristic features of aves that is birds are the presence of feathers and most of them can fly except flightless oh, sorry this is flightless birds in bracket for example ostrich they possess beak in bracket figure 4.23 the four limbs are modified into wings the hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking swimming and clasping the tree branches skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail endoskeleton is fully ossified in bracket bony and the long bones are hollow with air cavities in bracket pneumatic the digestive tract of birds has additional chambers the croup and gizzard heart is completely four chambered they are warm blooded in bracket homeothermous animals that is they are able to maintain a constant body temperature respiration is by lungs air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration sexes are separate fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct examples corvus in bracket crow columba in bracket pigeon cuticula in bracket parrot stutio in in bracket ostrich pavo in bracket peacock aptenodites in bracket penguin and neophront in bracket vulture 
4.2.11.7 class mammalia they are found in a variety of habitats polar ice caps desert mountains forests grassland and dark caves some of them have adapted to fly or live in water the most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk producing glands that is mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished they have two pairs of limbs adapted for walking running climbing burrowing swimming or flying in bracket figure 4.24 the skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair external ears or pinna are present different types of teeth are present in the jaw heart is four chambered they are homeothermous respiration is by lungs sexes are separate and fertilization is internal they are viviparous with few exceptions and development is direct examples oviparous or nithorhynchus or ornithorhynchus in bracket platypus in viviparous macropus in bracket kangaroo pteropus in bracket flying fox camelus in bracket camel macaca in bracket monkey ratus in bracket rat canis in bracket dog felis in bracket cat elephant in bracket elephant equus in bracket horse Delphinus in bracket common dolphin, Balaenoptera in bracket blue whale, Panthera tigris or Panthera tigris in bracket tiger, Panthera leo in bracket lion. The salient distinguishing features of all phyla under animal kingdom is comprehensively given in table 4.2. Summary: The basic fundamental features such as level of organization, symmetry. cell organization coelom segmentation notochords etc have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom besides the fundamental features there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phyla or class porifera includes multicellular animals which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated coenocytes or coenocytes The cilentrates have tentacles and bear nidoblast. They are mostly aquatic, sessile, or free-floating. The tenophores are marine animals with comb plates. The platyhelminthes have flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. The parasitic forms show distinct suckers and hooks. Eschelminthes are pseudocoelomates and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic roundworms. Annelids are metamerically segmented animals with a true coelom. The arthropods are most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of jointed appendages. The mollusks have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with external skeleton made up of chitin. The echinoderms possess a spiny scale. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system. The hemicodates are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have a cylindrical body with proboscis collar and trunk phylum chordata includes animals which possess a notochord either throughout or during early embryonic life other common features observed in the chordates are the dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits some of the vertebrates do not possess zoo in bracket agantha whereas most of them possess zoo in bracket genethostomata agantha is represented by the class cyclostomata They are the most primitive chordates and are ectoparasites on fishes. Genethostomata has two superclasses, Pisces and Tetrapoda. Classes Chondrichthys and Ostrichthys bear fins for locomotion and are grouped under Pisces. The Chondrichthys are fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton and are marine. Classes Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia have two pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under Tetrapoda. The amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and codified skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians and reptiles are poikilothermous in bracket cold blooded. Aves are warm blooded animals with feathers on their bodies and forelimbs modified into wings for flying. Hind limbs are adapted for walking, swimming, perching or clasping. The unique features of mammals are the presence of mammary glands and hairs on the skin. They commonly exhibit viviparity. So, guys, this was chapter Animal Kingdom. 
उम्मीद है आपको चैप्टर पसंद आया हो अगर अच्छा लगा है तो लाइक करें सब्सक्राइब करें चैनल जो लोग नए हैं और वीडियो को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर करें और इसमें जो भी आपके सजेशंस हो वो कमेंट बॉक्स में ज़रूर रखें और वीडियो को पूरा देखें ताकि चैप्टर पूरा समझ आए और नीट के क्वेश्चन बनाने में आपको हेल्प हो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट चैप्टर में तब तक के लिए थैंक यू